Hey guys, today's the day we're finally gonna get our feeder calves. We've been wanting to buy some feeder calves. Today we're finally gonna get them. So after we ended up visiting Connemacher Farms and, and checking out how they raise their cows, um, they ended up messaging us back afterwards and they said that they would sell us a couple of their calves. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going back to Connemacher Farms today and um, I think we're gonna be running cattle through the chute uh, maybe doing some stuff with them and then when we're all done uh, we'll get them loaded up in the trailer and bring them home so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's go ahead we'll get in the truck and start heading over there So here's the plan today. The plan is to bring in the two bulls that you guys are interested in, and we are going to castrate them. Um, this particular, uh, what we're doing is running them down an alley. We have a swing gate that's inside here, and that helps to move the animals um, as, as quickly and safely as possible without us getting hurt. They'll come down this alley. This is this gate opens up. They'll run, the first one will run in. We'll have the second one behind it. We'll lock that one, then we'll come to this next gate, and depending on how they, because they may just flow through. Um, they may just, sometimes they'll do this, they just run on in there and everything's great. Many times it doesn't happen that way, so we'll see what happens today. But open this one, and they'll run in through. This is our uh, head gate, um, and this one actually is, a, I think they call it a palpitating, it has a palpitating cage you can check cows whether or not they're pregnant or if you got to do some pulling or what have you. So we'll open that one. The cow will run in, in here. The head gate, which is this part right here, it catches. So the cow will run through and about, about when the first, the head and the shoulder, head is through, the shoulders are here, Lila will pull this down and we'll have the animal caught. Now, once we have the animal caught, uh, uh, we have watched uh, Temple Grand before, um, and she says, you calm the animal down by kind of holding it. So we can actually hold the animal, and this adjusts, and it kind of puts a little pressure on them, and it makes them calm, calmer. Now, I will enter. I'll get in here and hopefully not get kicked, and, that, and I'm gonna do the castration or the banding, we're gonna band, which is a rubber band that slips on over their, over their nuts. I guess that's what I'd call it. So we'll drop this down and we'll curl that tail up and over their back and it makes them uh, less mobile. We're, uh, makes it safer for me to do what I'm gonna do, which is gonna be right here on the back end of the cow in these cases in the back end of a bull. Band goes right around that. It's a large rubber band. And then we will open it up like so. And then in the really cold, you've got to kind of keep that warm. Uh, it does need to flex and, and not be old. We've had trouble before with smaller bands breaking. So we'll open that up like so. And then the back legs here between it, that will pull, pull down. And in this case, with the, the bulls that we're working with today, they're a little larger. And so we'll bring one nut down at a time and then release the band. Slides off and then goes with the cow. Or in this case, steer now, right? Hopefully. So after that, if we're ear tagging or putting on any medicine, uh, any wormer or anything like that, we do that at that time. Hopefully they're, you know, again, calm. Uh, we'd ear tag if necessary. And then either we return them back to our pasture, or in this case, we're loading up in your truck. Perfect, 
Okay, so Lila's gonna hold the tail. Um, Sherry, you might know more about this than I exactly, but there's a nerve that, that basically, if we do it the right way, there's a nerve, they sort of become temporarily paralyzed. Yeah, it, which, it immobilizes them yeah, somewhat. Which is real handy for what we're getting ready to do. So they've been weaned for four months. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been in there. And they were probably 45 days, two months in the pasture, something like that, on the mom. So they would be less than a year old. So, so they're about six months. So you think they're about six months old? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we showed up at Connemarker Farms and ran two cows through the chute. Um, and we got them loaded up in our trailer and they're ready to take home. Checking out the pasture. What do you see? So we just got home and we released the feeder calves out here into our pasture and at first they started working their way down uh, kind of searching around and then they ended up finding the cedar tree on the back side of the dam and they are over there they've got under that cedar tree they're rubbing all over it I think they are breaking a few branches off but they're scratching themselves pretty good on that cedar tree so uh, yeah I think if anything they'll end up at least making a nice spot for them to lay down in the shade when they're done too. So uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and we'll get out some hay. We're gonna put it in the hay feeder. I wanted to wait till the cows were here so that they could hear me put the hay in the hay feeder and know where their food was and then we're gonna fill up their water trough as well and hopefully they'll hear that and they'll know where their water is. So we'll go ahead and do those two things and then the cows should be good for the rest of the day. 
Well, I know a lot of people were concerned I'd be able to fit a bale of hay through this opening. And I think I should be able to, but I got a post right in the way too. Let's see what happens. I think the cows are pretty excited to be out there. They've just been munching on grass. They've walked all up and down that hill and they've been kind of rolling around on the ground and trotting around. <laughs> they seem happy. So the steers have gone around and they've ate some grass and then now they're back under that cedar tree again and they're, they're head butting each other. But uh, they've already broken off enough branches underneath the cedar tree that they've got a nice shady place to be able to lay down and uh, give them a little bit of shelter. Yeah, I thought we were gonna have to trim it all up for them so they could get underneath there and lay, but they took care of it like in a couple minutes. Yeah, we didn't have to do nothing. We had <laughs> talked about trimming, you know, the bottom three or four feet of the cedar trees so that it could get underneath them uh, for a little bit of shade and shelter. I know that people have asked if we have any shelter for the cows and the simple answer is we don't have any man-made shelters for the cows to get under. Uh, they do have shelter from the wind from behind the dam and the tree line to the south and the cedar trees um, they can get underneath. So there's a little bit of natural shelter um, for the cows, not a lot, but we don't have any way for them to go in and use the barn uh, at this time. So this, the steers are about six months old and um, they're they're pretty chunky. We weighed them and they're a little heavy. Yeah, so uh, not sure exactly how long it's gonna take, them, take us to grow them out, um, but they are a fairly heavy feeder steer to begin with. So I think all we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna let the cows be. We're not gonna bother them. We're gonna let them explore the whole pasture, just kind of get used to their new home. And uh, hopefully they'll find their hay in the water, find where that is. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna, leave them alone and let them get used to their new home. And we'll try to get some more footage of the cows doing their thing, try to put that here at the end of the video. So um, I think that's it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.